Hi there everyone and welcome to the Saturday Geek Cycle Life Adventure with me, John Parker and me, Jack Cunning, and today we are doing another console review. This time it's a HRL and this time we are going for the Archaic Paradox. Now this is one interior that I do most certainly like the look of, so now that I've bought it we get to um, review it deeply. Now also, also, this interior has come with two exteriors, two different exteriors. So I'm just going to go straight into it right now, I'm going to summon the first one and we'll do a quick overview, a quick summary of that. It should be fine. There we go. Wow, my sound is messed up. It's okay, mine's kind of like the blade as well. Whoa, I recognize the text font. The font, <laughs> whatever. Um, okay, that took a while for mine to load the mesh. <laughs> but okay, never mind. Looks very arc. Oh, archaic, it looks very archaic. <laughs> yeah, exactly. The whole point of it being an archaic exterior. Just um, to access. What's that doing? Oh, what I do. Sorry. I do have to admit, it's, it is a very interesting police box. Very detailed, isn't it? Might be my personal choice, but um, it really is. I love what's going back the top. Yeah, it's intriguing, isn't it? Actually, even more so, you know the police put the call box? Mm -hmm. Can you see the kind of, like, um, you know the old CRT monitors? It's very similar, isn't it? Yeah. You know when you see like, all like surveillance videos, for that matter? You know when you actually um, play a video, or like a cassette tape or something? Um, you do have those wavy lines come down, it's, it, it is, it's like, um, it's like a futuristic thing. Mm. Times, times, but it's come to mind for some reason. Um, so, my genuine thoughts. There's no windows. Oh, there you, what? There's no windows. Um, well, the way the interior behaves, there wouldn't be. Although I don't suppose there's any reason to be. Although I can kind of see a point there. I would have preferred having windows in. Also, the police telephone free for use of public blah blah. blah. It, that little box there is actually lopsided. I oh, understand. It's not. Uh, what's the word? Not parallel to the uh, line, the side on the line here. That isn't that. Not entirely sure you remember. I'll see when you when I watch the yeah. your side. It's not uh, matching. So my LCD is going crazy. But uh, yeah, anyway. Then again, that's, I suppose that's the whole definition of archaic. So, uh, yeah. I do love the detail, however. I mean, you know, you know that the um, touch to access thing? Mm -hmm. I like how they've gone touch to access the pull to open. Yeah. It is definitely a futuristic police box. Mm -hmm. That's definitely what this is a, a futuristic police box. Am I right to say this is HOL? Hmm? HOL is this? Yes. Yeah. In which case that explains why there's such a high level of detail. You can't, you can't, you can't knock it, can you? Um, yeah, think about, think, having this in uh, in World War II, where futures at World War II. Not that I'm saying that there might be other World War II. Mm -hmm. But, you know, imagine having oh, this back then. Oh. That's a whole different subject, but anyway. Imagine that though, having this in um, during that time. I can see it actually, I can, I can see them using it. Um, other than that though, I, I like it. Now, we get a, um, we'll get to see the take off my landing because I'm going to switch now. I should turn my hoods off, I forgot. Um, I am now actually going to switch to the other one, which I believe is that one. So. Not a fan of the sound effect. Yeah, it's, it's 
all right. I quite like it. So you can bump into it while it's still materialising. No, yeah, not with ours. With ours, no. <laughs> Yeah. Medic public nanite box. Medic public nanite box. Medical chamber, free for use of public nanites and what's that? Medical. Medical chamber immediately. Medical personal respond. Personnel respond. So it's definitely the same as the other one, just um colour chains make more like a uh, Style. The keen eyes will notice there's a plus now with a full bar above the other two bars that were flashing on the other one. There you go. The keen eyed would notice there's an extra plus and there's bars just above the two bars that are flashing on the touch to access panel. I can only see one plus. No, the, the plus bar wasn't there on the other one. Oh. I think that's more of a medical thing, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just a little bit of fine detail. Um, Texture-wise, well, you know exactly what I'm going to say. Absolutely love it. It is completely mesh, as with the other one. Um, actually, what's interesting to know? Ah, that's all one side panel. I find they've done a bit more bump backing on the uh, on the textures because it doesn't feel very realistically like just sticking out to me. What you mean, the indentations and all that? Yeah. I suppose that would have been nice to be actually, um, to be mesh, to be honest. Mm -hmm, like individually, yeah. I mean, what we're about to see is fully mesh. <laughs> Although what I will say is there's one main reason why they haven't done that, and I do believe we've got told about this before. If they'd have done that, there'd have been that many triangles, this would have cost a fortune, and dear God, loading it. <laughs> yeah, I suppose, but that kind of... That point will kind of get defeated when we go inside. Let's see why. So, are you ready? Mm -hmm. Do you? Whoa, that takes ages to load. Okay, so you know HLO? Mm -hmm. I can keep this going all day and it will still not be enough. Well, please don't. <laughs> oh, but seriously though, look at this. This is immaculate. This is what immaculate. you call I wouldn't, like even, I wouldn't even... I mean, you know what? I have to admit, it's one thing we can get in the demo room, but when you bought it and you look at it, you can absorb it and appreciate the, the context of it all. And, and the best thing is, the mesh, 356 land impact! Actually, it's 500 and, uh, 560, 548-odd. If you go to our land tab, by the way, you'll see how many objects are left. 30! <laughs> I mean, I can see what the mesh is doing, it's really causing the land impact to cry, isn't it? But Ugh, either it, way, it, it's it's hard. Nice. It's hard to say there's too much when you see all this. Because yeah. that's you could never bump, say anything bump, like that. Bump, bump, bump. <laughs> the stairs though, I mean ugh. Well, like the glass is really nice. Is it me? Is the, is the glass textured? Yeah, the glass is slightly textured, Jack. See what I'm gonna try actually, because uh Vassalon symbols, the Gallifreyan symbols, the... Ah! Yeah. It's amazing. Yeah, here we're going to do a, a thumbnail video on it, a picture on this one. I have no idea how we're going to do it. From a high angle? Like oh, this. actually, good point, yeah. There's a... Oh, there's a... Um, there's a vintage point here. Vintage point. Vintage point. Oh, I'll oh, come up here. Yeah, I can see. Oh, um, oh um, speaking of which... I am going to midnight. Confirmed. Oh, look at the little lights just everywhere. Uh, <laughs> no, they haven't. Oh dear. They haven't. 
Thank you. Convex Hall. It's Convex Hall. Okay, so HMO, we have found your uh, mistake, I think. Oh, wait, wait, what? 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 I right the hell that. Hang on, that happened as I right clicked on it and edit linked part. That was weird. Okay, that was strange. Anyway. You know what comes to mind as well? Atlantis. Hmm. God, this is amazing. Absolutely amazing. Now, there is way too many buttons in here, so I'm going to resort to the actual um, image that we, that we uh, can... There we go. Yeah. Right, now apparently the light switch is somewhere... It's very medical, isn't it? Oh my god, that would be so cool if the actual interior changed as you change the exterior that you chose. I would have preferred, however, a bit more lighting than that. Well, that would be too difficult to learn. Either way, either way, we can. I think you can see enough detail in that anyway. Um, and I'm just thinking it's a bit high contrast on the eyes, making my eyes go woo. My eyes seem perfectly fine. Yeah, well. Mind you, my eyes are very different, aren't they? Um, so either way, let's take off and uh, see this baby in action. Uh, flight systems... This flight systems... Is that little switch there with the thing that says Mega Mundo under it, or...? I don't think so, I think this is it. Mm. I like how it's like... Yeah. I can see the views of the McGann um, Grotech. Whoa! Listen. What the? The sounds are um, Matt Smith's, similar to. Oh, look at the electricity running down the. Uh... Yeah, the, the, the light thing's going down. Yeah. That's pretty incredible. But more importantly, the detail on the actual console panels. That's amazing. They're all using the same scripts as well. There's just so much to be said for this. It's uh, unbelievable. I mean, the stairs. Look here, the stairs curve nice and smoothly. And, I mean, look at the detail on the walls and the doors and everything. Wow. Stunning. I'm speechless. I'm speechless? I could never make anything like this. Come down here. Think of the world's biggest computer with the biggest airplane in the world. Look beneath you. I know. The fans, the pipes. They haven't. Hang on. No, they haven't. Well, they have a lot. Uh, I thought they'd put all the script, literally all the code for all the moving parts in the one's main room control script. They haven't. They've got to send all the scripts inside these files to make them turn. Which I think they do. It's literally like a big supercomputer, this is. All wired up and put together. It's brilliant. Oh, and this is the, this is the, uh, the tape and a classic door, by the way. Where, 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 where are you? By the way. Hello. I like the vortex, that's uh, that's new. Isn't that look similar to the McGann one? No, the McGann one's a bit different than that. That's a custom one, that is. 
They left me a custom one. I don't think much else can be said about the detail because I, my video isn't much I can put into words to describe it, to be perfectly honest. Um, now, of course, as you all know, the controls are very much the same. Um, they never change with the HRLS, uh, like I said before. And as you can see on my screen here, the lights, main door, sim scanner, the AV scanner, security, flight systems, power systems, scanner screen, close to, ooh, close to bell. We've got to see the close to bell. Although I'm not really expecting much of it to be honest, because we, unfortunately, HRO do tend to um, lack slightly according to close to effects. Now, you see, that's an immediate problem. They have how many lights in this room? They could have changed these to red or something. Yeah, to they honest. could have at least make massive big emergency lights come on, bright red, streaming down onto our faces, and all this rotor going bright red. Yeah, I'll, I'll For God's sake, HMO, come on. come on. It's a perfect opportunity to make it look gorgeous with a bright red stream like that. Oh. And if you'd have made that sound effect played around like the whole room, it would have sounded even more better. Like a surround sound of cloister bell sound. Missed opportunities. Missed opportunities, HRM. Yeah, that is. Without, without that, we're focusing on that, aren't we? Yeah. The lighting completely biased, so all the, all the lights stream down on you. You've already seen our exterior with um, our cloister bell on. There's bright red. Actually, what does the exterior look like when, when the cloister bell's on? Any what? difference? The exterior this, of this, this thing? The exterior makes the noise, but um, does not react in any way else. No. Missed opportunities. I can see those lights turning red. I can see this panel here having some sort of warning symbol on it flashing. There is too much that I could think of that they could do. But it's quite clear that they focused all on the design, which they should take even longer in getting all the features up to date. I mean, yeah, I know it's extra. I can see what's going on, Jack. You know what's going on? My hair's a bit of a mess. Um, they made the models for all the different TARDISes, and then they slapped their scripts into them, and they didn't change them much. That's what they've done. Without, they haven't changed the scripts on each of the individual TARDISes to make it match and like change how each of the individual ones work. I agree. Which they should have done. They should have explored their scripts a bit more. You know. Oh, but it's time, it's money. No, I'm sorry. This is a hobby thing to do. I mean, yes, I know you're making money out of it in Second Life. You know what I mean? I know you're making money out of it in Second Life, but um, at least put a bit of uh, passion into the functionality as well as the design of all your different TARDISes. And by the way, while we're here, me and Jack have to say this, just in case any of you HO uh, scripters slash designers are, um, are listening, particularly the designers. Um, we wanted to see um, David Tennant and Matt Smith's tirelessness be done in mesh. Yeah, I mean, I know it's an extra thing, it's not important. But it'd be really good if we could see... Because, I mean, uh, the, the latest Matt Smith and the John Hurt one that you folks have created, and the theatre, oh, the theatre, um, are absolutely imagine, incredible. Just imagine David Tennant's and Matt Smith's tireless in mesh, like with proper full-on detail. Converted to the new the new design. And Dear God, it'd be gorgeous. Giving off something like this here right now. This, you know, because looking at this console in particular, as you know, looking at this co console apart, you know, from every other console created by um, HOL, when you look at this one, you think of all the potential they have of making the ones done before, redoing them, 
think of the achievement they can make by redoing Geek Great to Mesh. Mm -hmm. All you need to do is look at this console, don't look at any other one, just look at this one, look at the Arcade Paradox, and you can see, and you can believe, how good redesigns, redesigning and, reconver and converting old ones to Mesh can be. Because mm -hmm. this is amazing. Mm -hmm. Now, one thing I do have to think of, is there any doors for like, uh, So add on rooms. Was this one here? Is that done? Uh, looks like one, but I don't think it is. I think they're actually. Okay, that's odd. If you zoom out, you can um... see the inside. Yeah, I know. Yeah. It's uh, I think the way the mesh works. I mean, to be honest with you, John, I can't be bothered about what's and what the outside looks like. No, no, but no, I just like it how they've made it so slightly transparent on those sides. Dude, yeah, it must be a killer from getting bird's eye view. But yeah, it isn't all. And, and underneath, underneath it looks like a. like some sort of beam that you could shoot down from an alien spaceship. Yeah, just amazing, absolutely amazing. Now, before we. Almost finish off, and um, I want to see what happens when we pile it down. <laughs> Completely dead. Put the individual lights shutting down. I know. Completely dead. Dead, bigger on the inside. Have I missed some lights out here? Where? There's that one there, that one there, that one there, and that one there. What on the console? Yeah. No, nope, they just got out. Oh, hang on, that one just went out. Actually, no, that one's flashing. I'm still seeing this one. Still seeing this one. This one and this one. Yeah, that oh, one's flashed. I'm only seeing one that's flashing. That's all. Just the one. Oh, that must mean I'm having another graphical bug. Mm-hmm. Other than that, I like it. Hang on, can't you see this panel here that I'm pointing at? Uh, oh, you mean these extra lights? Yeah. Well, yeah, but I don't think they're... Uh, you find their textures. Yeah, they're, they're textures. I can oh, see the need to send... Now you just told me to. Oh, there's a glow on them, Jack. Yeah, there's a glow on them. Oh, oh dear. Okay. Yep. Graphical bug. Everything's shut off except for the one flashing one. Everything's turned off. Oh, well. Anyway. Yeah, those lights are still on for me. I tried everything. Actually, what about if I do a texture refresh? Of course, Jack's put it on, so I might have changed anyway. Don't worry about it. The sounds aren't playing for me. Oh, me neither. Yeah, there's no sound, there's no landing sound or type of sound or error on sound or anything. Hang on. I like that power down Oh. Uh, there's a lag ah. in our region. Jack! What? All the lights apart from this one have gone off for me now. This one here that I'm pointing to is still on. No, it is definitely off. That does not sound at all, does that? No, there isn't. Now I can't tell us uh, a book or... Hang on, okay. 
Oh, it's not being beaten. No, they've already taken twice there, so it cannot really be. One. Why am I sliding across the floor? Ooh. I can't even choose somewhere to land. It's like it's, it's like half paradox. I'm clicking mine so I can get somewhere. I know I've got oh, oh. Okay, there we go, it's found one. Um, it's a bit weird actually. It's like it's taking ages to power on. Perhaps there is a lag, I don't know. Right. Well, I've chosen to land at the Sunday Geeks HQ with this, so let's see how this works. It'll be really good as well if H2O released. I know they've got um, the exterior, custom exterior and custom interior APIs. No, but it'd be really cool if they had a. Um, if they told us some of the secret messages that you can send the TARDIS so that people can make scripts or like external devices to make the TARDIS react to certain things. Right, so. Waiting time. Um, first of all, um, exterior. John, what would you go with? Uh, Out of ten. Nine. Nine? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, interior? Nine point five. Nine point five. Mm -hmm. Um, now, for me, I'm probably going to have to go the same way, but I'm actually not. I'm actually going to give 9.5 across the board for me. Okay, the only reason I didn't give the next year 9.5 is because they could have done some bump mapping. Um, there was a... No, I think that's about it, really, bump mapping. I mean, then again, they had a choice between really making the bump mapping stand out so it looked really like as if those little indentations were sticking out, or they could have gone the full on mesh way, which probably would have helped with... Well, sorry, probably would have made the triangles a lot worse. I probably would have caused problems with them, but you know, they, yeah. had, they had two options there and they didn't take them, so 9, 9 out, 9 out, but it's still really good, still really good design, really liked it. That's I why I'd probably a 9.5. I don't know, I don't know whether or not the bug with the um, interior was a bug, or whether or not it was our land um, doing that. If it was a bug, fix it. <laughs> if it wasn't a bug, doesn't matter. <laughs> so. But I still gave the interior a 9.5 instead of a 10, like I would have liked to have given it, because as I said, the cloister bell was a missed opportunity here. Yeah, that's why that's, that's my reason for giving it. And um, and of course there was no extra doors. There was nothing to expand it, which is um, odd in a way, and it should have been implemented because well, well I know it's a big bleeding console, but um, no. <laughs> you know, I think I'll never be able to give H12 full on 10. Because they haven't expanded their scripts. I can tell that they're not doing it. Because the scripts are the same. They're the same name. They're the same version. And um, and obviously the functionality is still missing on the cluster belt. So they're not expanding their scripts. Then they should be. They could change them. I know it's extra work. I know it's a bit extra time. But why on earth are you paying the script guys? If, they are, if they're not expanding on the features that they've already got. Apart yeah. from just making new features. No. Agreed. So, yeah, that is pretty much it. Um, well, I'm provide from me from for both, and obviously, uh, nine for you for the uh, exterior and for you for the interior. Um, that is all that we've got for you today. Now, on a side note, I'm now going to be pushing um, console reviews to every month now because it is getting a, a little bit more in, in, intense. It's having to pay like, no, um, I think I'm paying like 20. Now, it's like a life where really I just want to kind of want to focus more on the land to pay for the marble, just you know, and at the console every two weeks, or twice a month. So that is the plan from now on. Um, so basically, you won't see another console review now until the beginning of September. Um, of course, we do have a lot of things coming along the way, especially in regards to our custom um, TARDIS. TARDIS. Mainly because of what I've got planned at the end of this month, which I'm not going to reveal yet, because I'm not quite sure if we're going to go ahead with it fully on, but you'll soon find out. Um, so yeah, anything else that comes along, we will let you know. 
most certainly. Of course, remember in September we are going to start doing something else as well. And that is the Doctor Who episode reviews. So I'm really looking, really looking forward to those because we're going to be in for an interesting um, series. So until next time, folks, do take care. Have a nice weekend, have a nice week, and remember. Let me get inside out. Goodbye, guys!